Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne, here to give you the messages this week from Archangel Michael and all the angels that are around us. For those of you who know me, I am guided by Archangel Michael. I always have been. And we are giving you the messages today. I see it, hear it, feel it, know it, and I translate them through the cards for you. So we're taking a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Scorpio. If Scorpio is in your chart, anywhere in your placement, this reading is for you. And the overall message for each and every zodiac sign, including Scorpio, is take action. Now, we're starting off with the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is a very combative energy. You might be dealing with a person in your life that's very combative. And for some of you, this is you. This is internal sabotage. But this isn't just like the Five of wands with that internal sabotage energy. This is like really not nice words and thoughts about your own self. So if you've been doing that, it's time for you to release this type of energy. If you've been dealing with people with situations around you, you may be feeling like it's time to move forward. Take action in whatever it is in your life that's causing you this one-upmanship and, um, you know, it's dealing with people who always have to be right and who interrupt you so that they have all eyes on them. So you may be dealing with a manipulator, most definitely somebody who takes a little bit too much from you. Equal reciprocity is very, very important. And this, if you are in this energy of, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Beating yourself up a lot. They're saying, don't do this. This was part of your journey. This is part of your own personal growth. And it has everything to do with this emperor energy in the reverse. And it came out in the reverse. So you're dealing with somebody who is nasty, okay? I don't mean naughty. I mean, they're not a nice person. It is not a good company. There's a lot of toxicity around this situation. It may be completely out of balance because they could be controlling you to give all your pentacles, all your resources to them. That's working overtime. That's doing all of the chores around the house. That's taking care of everything for somebody else and not yourself. And when we deprive ourselves, we get out of balance and we lose control in our own life. So they're saying, let that go. And this is going to be a moment in time where you're going to be making a choice, a decision to take action somehow, some way. Now, as a detail, we have the, oops, we have cards falling all over the place. And over the next three weeks, I'm recording this on September 13th. And uh, this is meant for whatever period of time you watch this video for seven to 10 days judgment is coming back around and it is for a lot of us to, it doesn't matter what zodiac sign we're feeling like we're going in a backward cycle or we're getting ready you can feel the vibration shifting right now so you'll be seeing i'll be doing those live energy shift readings for you guys because of that this is making a final decision to release yourself from whatever this is if you are too much in control of your own life, you might be saying by being too much in control, we don't allow the errors to come in. Life happens, it just happens. You know, I was getting ready to record and I had to hold it up because there was an accident outside and then the cars were, the car was honking, honking, it couldn't, you know, cause it got in an accident, it couldn't shut off. And then the cars around it were honking and then the sirens came and then there's like four police cars out there and my dog's barking. So it put me behind is the point, I had to wait. So although I'm controlled in my environment, I know what I'm supposed to do, I have to allow those life to come in. And being patient during that is not an easy thing. And that can lead us to the negative thought process. So make a decision whether or not this is the right choice for you, whatever it is you're dealing with. Taking action to make a decision we have the Ace of Wands and it's accompanied, it, you got three cards that came out, the Ten of Cups. So for some of you, this is a family situation, a relationship, an actual marriage, a commitment, where, that, see, my dogs are barking, they're still out there right now, where you're making a choice in your life that is going to uh, start you in a brand new 
adventure in life. But this time, it is part of your core being. This time with the Ace of Wands, it is part of your destined plan. And that's why it may feel right inside of you to go forward, but yet if you're dealing with somebody who's toxic or a situation and experience that's toxic, you could be feeling like going backwards. So you're gonna be feeling this effect between the next three weeks and definitely through the end of the year, okay? Because we're going in a different cycle. We're going a little bit backwards. So taking action with that Ace of Wands is gonna, oh boy, it's gonna lead you to the Ten of Cups and that's beautiful and that's exactly what you want. That's what we all want. We all want the Ten of Cups, we all want the Ten of Pentacles, right? The happy home, happy life, feeling secure and grounded with everything around us that we love. Now we have the Emperor as the adversity and it's in the upright, where this one is in the reverse. So if you've been feeling out of control and things are falling apart around you, they're saying take control of your life, but allow that universal flow to come in and just have faith that everything is gonna work out, that the second they're gone, the second my dog stops, starts, stops barking, I'm gonna get back on track. And by being in control, it leads us in the right direction. But you may be dealing with somebody who's a little bit toxic, a little bit bipolar as well. You know, this could be a person in your life. The emperor typically is a person or a situation that uh, it's, we feel it, they hold a lot of authority. So this is like a government entity. This is a very large international type corporation. This is something grand, okay, or a person that is viewed in authority as grand. Uh, they stand out from the others, right? And this emperor is saying, it is time for you to let go of the negative thinking. Whoever this person is, whatever this person is, uh, situation is, they are causing a lot of anxiety around you. You might be feeling it in your chest, like bum, 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 and pay very close attention to your health and make sure that you are taking good care of your health, especially over the next four months through the end of 2021 very important for you to let go of the feeling of being attacked and and being um, treated poorly is what I heard now we have the seven of swords and this is about betrayal deception and that's what I'm talking about some of you are dealing with a person with an experience that is super negative and that negativity is affecting your life. Even when we try to block it out, just by going to the toxic work environment, we don't like going to our job. So if we don't like what we're doing, we're gonna, we put up our guard. We put up, we, we, put, it, we become the, the four of pentacles, right? And we're like, yeah, we don't wanna play this game anymore. And whoever this is, I'm, I'm certain that you know, you know what's going on. Now, some of you are dealing with a person that's a liar and they are betraying you. They are talking about you behind your back. They may be going to your family and saying things about you. So you look bad to the family, whoever the family is, whether that's a work family or a real family, uh, you know, a relationship family, <laughs> a real family. You have the star card here. There is an opportunity for you to get your actual dream. It's almost like this situation, this person was put in your path to purposely knock you off track, to purposely see if you can recognize this type of energy around you, to overcome this energy. Deception, lies, betrayal, the manipulation, deceit, toxicity, that creates the anxiety and the fear. I can't win, I can't beat this, I can't keep doing this, right? But they're saying you have everything it takes with this beautiful star card. You're meant for this. So you're gonna have to take action in order to get it. If we don't take action, it will just go away. It can come back later in a year, it could be 10 years, and for some, it could be a missed opportunity. But for most of us, if it's on our destined path, which the star card represents that, this is destiny, this is a serendipity for some of you. Maybe I'll never get a relationship partner with everybody I'm around is argumentative. <laughs> 
And that's not necessarily true. Taking action is going to change everything in the course of this particular direction that you're going. So let's pull an overall message for you and I'll continue with the um, additional messages. Now remember my beautiful dog, Captain Lovebug, he has blessed our cards. So this one has a little piece of him attached to it. Adriana, I am healing you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, your thoughts, and your dreams. And it's time for you to actually take that action. Look, they're pulling him up the stairs. That's taking action toward what it is that you want. Making certain that you do recognize that this is actually part of what you are meant to overcome. Now, this is for 7 to 10 day period of time, but keep in mind that the burden attached to it may very well be through the end of 2021. For a lot of us, it will be. So for every three steps you go up, you feel like you go back a half a step and then you got to do a little jump and a twist and hop up back where you were. But you can do this. It's all about choices. So it's overcoming the burden, all right? Uh, the competition that's around you and again the inner struggle the inner strife whoever you're around whatever situation is going on for this group of you you already know if it's toxic you already know if there's betrayal there so this is actually making a decision do i want it or not you may be dealing with the type of a situation that there will always be some type of competition and life is about competition for a lot of us when it comes to being outside of your home. We're competing in the work industry. We're always competing in sports. That's how we created the world. And the world is changing around us. So we also have to allow that change to come in by taking action towards what we want. So this is a beautiful moment for you to actually get what it is you truly, truly desire by making one step forward by making that final judgment call of whether you are going to go forward or go back into a repetitive cycle. Whatever it is, you're going to do what's right for you. Have a great day. Much love.